Hello, composers! As always, begin the week by going over the pieces your classmates created last week and filling out the feedback form. Also, please check for my responses to your proposals for Comp Project 2. This week, we're going to look at combining graphics and notations to really get your point across to performers. In addition to standard notations, staves, and notes, there are other elements on the page as well. Dynamics, performance technique glyphs, text instructions, etc. All of these contribute to describing the sound that you want the performers to produce. However, as composers have looked for more and more ways to explore new performance techniques, there are now many new changes. Let's look at a quick example from a piece I wrote for sax quartet and computer, Through a Glass Darkly. As you can see, the computer part is notated graphically, showing a visual interpretation of sounds that are generated during the performance. This is very common in electroacoustic music circles as a way to display information about a computer part to performers. Here, glissandi are indicated by solid lines, pointillistic sounds are small clouds of events, percussive events are squares, resonant tones look like a swirl, formants are appropriately mouth-shaped, and bell tones are bell-shaped. Pretty standard. Let's now look at the preface material for Kaya Sariajo's La Colnisma de l'Elle, for flute and electronics. Here, we see how the change of note heads and the addition of wavy lines contributes to things like key clicks, vibrato, singing while playing, inhaling and exhaling, and tongue pizzicato, among other things. This extension of the standard notation for the flautist helps them to quickly react to the changes required by the composer without the need for extensive textual explanations in the score. The effect is that it's manageable and economical for both the composer and the performer, condensing the maximum amount of information into the minimal amount of space needed. Finally, let's look at a classic. George Crumb's Electronic String Quartet, Black Angels, 13 Images of the Dark Lands. Watch the video and pay special attention to how the composer merges staves when the instruments play in unison or branches out when they move to separate lines. Look at how he notates indeterminate glissandi and trills, especially the use of durational notation, uh, a number of seconds that are supposed to be performed for a particular thing, and listen to the effects. It's pretty astounding. Consider if any of these things can be added to your projects to really help make things clearer to your performers. To do so, you will need to create graphics in Photoshop, Illustrator, Affinity, GIMP, or a similar program, and then insert them into your score writer. Every score writer is different, so you'll have to look that up on your own. Black Angels is also a lengthy piece, clocking in at around 20 minutes, so have some time free to watch it. You will not be disappointed, though. It's a really, really great piece.